Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another new edition of the Daily Debate. And uh, tonight we will be talking about the development of Sinai. But uh, let's first have a look on the top stories of the day. President Assad received a phone call from uh, Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed Al Sudani on Tuesday. During their telephone conversation, President Sisi and Al Sudani reviewed bilateral relations and the current regional situation. The presidential spokesman said the phone talks tackled the latest developments in the Middle East, including the Israeli aggression in Lebanon. President Sisi reiterated Egypt's stance on supporting and maintaining Lebanon's stability and security, as well as rejecting any violation for its sovereignty. The head of state stressed the significance of continuing efforts to reach a ceasefire in Gaza Strip. And uh, still with the top stories of the year, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi received Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli fully housing utilities and urban communities Sharif al-Sharbini on Tuesday. Presidential spokesman Ahmed Fahmi said during the meeting, President el-Sisi was briefed on the executive status of a number of projects carried out by the Ministry of Housing, including the presidential initiative Housing for All Egyptians, which aims to provide housing units at reasonable prices in several cities. In this regard, President Sisi directed to accelerate the pace of construction works on the initiative, stressing the significance of enhancing efforts to provide adequate housing for all citizens, which contributes to achieving social stability and maximizing the benefit from the advanced infrastructure and the state has accomplished over the past years. Welcome back and uh, moving on to our special reports and uh, check out this report on uh, President Sisi's uh, reviewing South Sinai developing strategy. Let's check out this report. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held a meeting with the Prime Minister, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, to review the comprehensive development strategy for the South Sinai Governorate. The meeting focused on the progress of numerous projects and investments in various sectors, including development, urban planning, tourism and culture, as well as the ambitious Great Transfiguration Project in St. Catherine. President Sisi followed up on the execution of the project's elements ahead of its opening, ensuring it aligns with its historic and cultural significance. The President directed the continuation and intensification of efforts to enhance the developmental tourism performance of South Sinai, which boasts unique assets. He also stressed the need to explore and implement new mechanisms to stimulate investments in all cities of the Governorate, particularly in supporting and empowering the youth and startup projects. The President emphasized the need for the development process to include enhancing the efficiency and development of vital sectors that affect the lives of citizens, positively impacting the level of services provided to them. Presidential spokesperson, Councillor Ahmed Fahmi, said the meeting reviewed various aspects of this strategy, which aims to maximize benefits of each governor's unique characteristics and competitive advantages. The meeting further addressed the progress of priority projects in South Sinai, particularly in Sharm el-Sheikh, where efforts are underway to enhance the efficiency of all vital sectors and strengthen the tourism position. Development projects in Taba, Nueva and Abu Dais were also reviewed. Meeting attended by the Minister of Local Development, Manel Awad, and South Sinai Governor, Khaled Mubarak, as well as the Presidential Advisor for Urban Planning, Amir Sayyid Ahmed, and the Commander of the Armed Forces Engineering Authority, Ahmed El Azizi. St. Catherine Project has long been demanded by investors and Sinai residents to achieve the optimum use of St. Catherine's natural resources and the legacy of an area full of religious sites that has been in desperate need of infrastructure and utility networks. The Transfiguration project is being implemented by the Central Agency for Urbanization, an affiliate of the Ministry of Housing, Utilities and Urban Communities, with the joint cooperation of the Ministries of Tourism and Environment.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and still on the day. Today we're delighted to be joined here live at the studio by Dr. Hane El Kelani, Professor of Engineering and Information Technology Expert. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, Dr. Hane, uh, with uh, education in Sinai, mm -hmm. uh, education is one of the main pillars of development in uh, Sinai. Uh, right. What would you like to brief us on the latest development in this field? Uh, um, Sinai is a very important uh, area and it has a um, great population right now and we are concentration on how to develop uh, the and uh, how to do it it's by of course by education and the awareness of, for the people and uh, make this as uh, with the security and to be uh, a safe area to be uh, uh, having the, all the kind of uh, uh, service uh, for the student uh, and instead of going uh, to Cairo, to Alexandria, to uh, uh, another uh, university outside of their community, uh, we are right now, we have a lot of institution, we have uh, Larish, Sinai, and uh, with a lot of uh, um, um, colleges, different uh, in, um, education like uh, dentistry, uh, pharmacy, agriculture, sports, uh, I mean we are covering a lot of uh, uh, fields for uh, college so we can adopt uh, the people there instead of going uh, for uh, outside of the Sinai and al Arish. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of potentials and of course we, we know that this area is very uh, unique uh, and it has a lot of um, um, potential not yet developed very well sure. so we are going to have this kind of uh, education technology uh, com uh, computer science uh, that makes the the area it's um, capable to be one of the uh, large city in uh, in Egypt mm -hmm. well uh, could you please highlight uh, the strategic importance of uh, Sinai as a central element of sustainable development given its uh, natural resources and also human resources Right, uh, that, that's a lot of uh, developed there. Um, basically, if we are going to, for for, like, for example, the beach, the the tourism, we have a lot of uh, uh, wonderful areas, and it will be uh, an, an, on a mark for the tourist and the, in the tourist field. Uh, in the education, we have uh, right now, we are accepting a lot of. Uh, side of the Sinai as well it's not only for a student in the in Sinai so this kind of uh, uh, emerging and developing this area to be one of the known area like uh, a part of Egypt no it's right now it's involving all the uh, area around that that's yeah. it's very important for this kind of uh, uh, developing this area mm -hmm. uh, how state succeeded in carrying out uh, its comprehensive development plan in Sinai? So, uh, first of all, we are already, we have a, 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 a street, the fundamental, the infrastructure, uh, all the kind of service we can uh, already uh, uh, give to the people there, uh, encouraging uh, people outside this uh, uh, area, the Sinai uh, al uh, Alcantara as well, to be uh, adapted and to be accommodated in, uh, uh, in the area and to make a business and to make a, a, a project uh, uh, to involve the people there instead of going outside of the area. Mm -hmm. uh, how far has all uh, the development uh, that has been uh, taking place in Sinai affected the life of the people living in Sinai, the life of its residents, the quality it's, of life? Yeah, it's a huge, uh, a huge impact uh, actually because uh, you know there uh, before uh, it was really uh, um, natural uh, resources they are not uh, equipped as um, a city uh, with the feature of the city. But right now, with a lot of uh, in intention from uh, President uh, Sisi and the ministry, uh, of course, they have a lot of uh, concentration and awareness. This mm -hmm. area, it should be with uh, uh, a lot of infrastructure, streets, uh, hospitals, uh, all kind of service that it's already there and it's been uh, improved by time. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, when we talk about women empowerment, mm -hmm. uh, what would you like to tell us about women empowerment in Sinai? It's mm -hmm. part of the development of this area, Definitely. empowering uh, women Definitely. living in Sinai. Okay. Um, first of all, the women there, it was that they have their own cultures. And right now we are uh, somehow we are uh, giving them the opportunity 
opportunity to empower women and to give them the uh, projects and uh, there is a lot of uh, campaigns uh, that has been made by uh, a lot of uh, ministry or the institution uh, to give the opportunity for the women to make uh, uh, even the small projects uh, whatever is handmade or to be involved in kind of uh, public uh, service, this is a very huge uh, empowering for women there, um, like if you are comparing from uh, like 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, to what extent uh, Sinai is considered a cornerstone of uh, uh, national security to Egypt? It's uh, uh, the, the main fundamental uh, area for Egypt and it has a lot of uh, potentials for their uh, borders. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, Sinai has a lot of uh, uh, common things with other uh, uh, cities in Egypt. We have beach in Sinai, it's one of the wonderful. That's it's more, maybe will be uh, in the future like Al Alamein if we have this kind of uh, uh, investment uh, in this area. That makes more safety for the people to see there is a development, there is a project, there is investment. They know that we are going to live there for a long, long time. Great. Uh, developing Sinai is based on implementing a number of projects right. uh, in different fields like in uh, health, education, right. uh, urban planning, uh, tourism, uh, culture. Um, Education, of course. Uh, could you please shed light on these projects? Okay, we have uh, this kind of uh, uh, the uh, water supplies for this uh, area. We have right now. We have aiming uh, to implant and agriculture. We have educational uh, faculty that they are uh, concentrating for the agriculture uh, departments uh, or the uh, animals uh, as well uh, to be one of the sources instead of uh, um, combine. Uh, or depending on uh, importing all the things from Cairo or Alexandria or Ismailia. So we are right now, we have going to be producing. So we can as well, we have our own uh, food or own chain instead of uh, depending on the outside. Mm -hmm. This is very important agriculture mm -hmm. and of course the uh, kind of uh, project, even a small one. Mm -hmm. uh, to what extent there's plan to develop Sinai has been aligned with the state's vision 2030. Okay, it's, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, right now we have a lot of, uh, uh, like we are saying, a hot investment. Uh, Al Alamein and uh, uh, Ras Al Hikmah and uh, uh, with the new uh, areas is going to be invested. Uh, the Sinai right now uh, on the map for investment for a lot of uh, potential and uh, um, kind of um, chance to make this kind of uh, changing in the area. Of course, we are having uh, the Upper Egypt as well, uh, right now on the map, Ain uh, Sukhna and uh, uh, all kind of uh, uh, import in the port, dry port is very important. So we are communication between and connecting all this kind of hot spot for Egypt is very important and impact for the, this area. Mm -hmm. We cannot separate. I mean, this is an, an not to be separated from the other uh, projects. Definitely. If we talk uh, specifically about South Sinai and uh, Sharm el Sheikh and the development of uh, Sharm el Sheikh, which is a very, very uh, touristic city. Right. Uh, Sharm el Sheikh uh, and uh, uh, all this kind of area in, in uh, lower, it's uh, more uh, touristic and uh, it has a lot of uh, the, the nature there is dif totally different than Al Arish. Mm -hmm. Al Arish it's uh, on the coast and it has a lot of uh, um, um, opportunity uh, for the investors to come and see the kind of uh, place that will be a very uh, wealth uh, profit for mm -hmm. the investors. Mm -hmm. Uh, what development projects are being developed in uh, uh, South Sinai and specifically Sharm el Sheikh uh, with regards to developing tourism? Right. Tourism, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, Sharm el Sheikh is known, no, widely known. Uh, Al Arish is not yet w widely known like uh, uh, Sharm el Sheikh. So that's what we are going to do uh, in the future uh, to put the Al Arish and the coast uh, as a well known destination for tourists. Mm -hmm. And right now we have a lot of uh, uh, hotels and uh, accommodation, but it's not yet in the uh, level of uh, uh, attraction, uh, a lot of people uh, to go there.
Of course, we have airport, but still it's not that as a tourist like uh, Sharm el Sheikh. Mm -hmm. uh, President Sisi have recently uh, reviewed with Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli development projects in different areas, right. uh, including uh, Taba, Nueba, Abu Radis, uh, right. Tour, Saint uh, Catherine. Uh, yeah, and of course, the Saint Catherine, uh, very important strategic yes, project. We, yeah. What are the horizons of development in these areas? It's very impressive and. Uh, um, um, for example, the Santa Catherine that you have already mentioned, it's uh, the holy land for us and for, not for only for Egyptian, for all over the world, all uh, the religions uh, uh, like to do a visit uh, once uh, in Santa Catherine or in Tabab, and, but Santa Catherine, it will be like a holy uh, area for Muslim uh, or whatever is the religion or the tourists to come and see. And of course, it has a lovely... Uh, atmosphere have a wonderful scene that it's not compared with another uh, country or even in Egypt it's not compared with another uh, area mm -hmm. how far will this great uh, uh, project of St. Catherine uh, um, this is a giant project right. how will it uh, transform or how is it expected to transform the area into a global uh, touristic destination uh, okay it's, uh, it, it's need time uh, to uh, uh, accommodate and to uh, have all kind of infrastructure uh, to be handled and to give the service for the tourists. Uh, we don't want to like just one shot time or one visit for uh, our, a day. So we need to uh, build our uh, area to accommodate most uh, of the uh, tourists to spend more one one day. Mm -hmm. So right now what we are having, it's only one day. Mm -hmm. And uh, to take a tour there, to go to the mountain, to see the sunrise and uh, what kind of uh, safari, uh, safari, whatever is uh, the service is giving, but still, it's not uh, accommodated for a long time. So mm -hmm. what we are going to do in the future, very soon, with this kind of uh, uh, project and develop, that we are going to accommodate for a longer time with more variety of service that mm -hmm. we are going to give them. Indeed. Well, uh, we talked about women empowerment. We cannot talk about women empowerment and not mention uh, youth empowerment. Uh, what would you like to tell us about youth empowerment in uh, Sinai and how will this uh, further develop uh, the area? That's what we are uh, uh, offering right now with this kind of uh, education uh, offering in, their, in this area. When you are already um, accommodate the student from their own land and to give them the higher education so they will give the most for their area they will serve mostly their needs in this area so this is what we are uh, hoping this was this kind of uh, education services that we are offering right now with a lot of uh, as i said before uh, a lot of uh, fields of colleges from the practical to the theory that is what we are going to give the yachts to go there, to be there in their land and to give their most uh, uh, job or experience or needs for this area. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, President Sisi emphasized the necessity to include in the development process enhancement and uh, development of vital sectors uh, in the area of Sinai uh, for the improvement of the uh, life of its Definitely, we will go on, as, as we know, this two main situation and health. So this is kind of uh, vital uh, and it will be very important for any kind of community. Mm -hmm. So this is what we are right now expecting. A lot of uh, attention and invest or re redevelop or for the service what we already have. It will be more efficient by time but it's need time that's what we are going to do i mean when you are saying where is it i don't see it right now immediately i say no just give us the the plan and we are on the plan or in the track as well mm -hmm. uh, how will uh, the sinai development plan uh, which focuses on uh, ridding the area of uh, terrorism how will it uh, further focus on this uh, that's what i'm talking about mm. education awareness of mm. the people to be involved in their uh, community, it's one of the first defense for our land. Mm -hmm. To be aware and to be educated and to, to feel that this land is ours and we are service in the land and to give all kind of, um, you know, when you are there, you are going to have agriculture, planting, 
this is our food. So nobody will come there and say this is not yours. So mm -hmm. we are offering the, th the, the production for ourselves. Mm -hmm. This one of the self-defense for this area. And I know this area, it has a lot of attention uh, for the last year. And uh, I hope uh, in the future we will have a lot of success uh, mm -hmm. project there. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Well, uh, would you like to uh, shed light or brief us on the main cities uh, that will be uh, established in Sinai, the new cities that will be established in actually, the area? Actually, we have uh, uh, not yet we are named uh, the area or we are, so, uh, you know, the capital, uh, the main city is al -Arish and the, mo uh, the nearest one, al Kantara, and the nearest uh, uh, governmental is the Ismailia. So this is like a, um, what we are saying, like an arc uh, for develop, for the kind of service, all kind of uh, in uh, improvement and develop with this like arc. Smalaya, Kantara, Al Arish, and the coast of the Al Arish as well. Mm -hmm. uh, do you uh, expect the ongoing uh, strategy or plan to develop Sinai will attract uh, more investments to Sinai, especially in the field of tourism? Definitely, if we are going to um, propaganda well, uh, and we are right now, we having this kind of propaganda by itself, by the, the, the events what are happening around us. Uh, name of Al Arish has been known uh, as a city of uh, the border. Uh, have, uh, it has a lot of uh, uh, potential for uh, uh, tourists. You know, the coast there is amazing. It's mostly like uh, heaven, like Al Alamein, the water, the sand, the, the sun, that it's kind of uh, uh, any investors would like to invest, he will be very happy with the place. And, uh, uh, of course, later on for the profit. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, what would you like to tell us about the future and uh, uh, the development of education of schools in Sinai? We spoke also about universities university. and new universities. Right. What about schools? Definitely, a school is the main factor there, in, in, uh, and it has a very important for the people there to uh, um, accommodate the people to go to school. Like you know, uh, it was like a desert, and they they, they don't care about education uh, uh, very well uh, uh, in the past. But right now, when they have the opportunity for a school and uh, with a well, very high uh, uh, quality of education. Uh, right now we have uh, really we have a lot of people coming outside for example from arab countries uh, and i know very well families uh, going to al arish uh, as a university and the school there it's already there and with a very good uh, education quality for the people they're living you know this the population that it's around uh, 300,000 mm -hmm. it's not too much Mm -hmm. So the, the, the school is really good uh, atmosphere there. And mm -hmm. of course, the, the country uh, or the city is a very nice one. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, in, in the housing sector, around 10,000 units uh, were built in the city of Rafah, uh, besides 16,600 uh, in the new city of Bir al Abd. Mm -hmm. uh, can we say Sinai and the canal cities uh, have thus become completely free of slum areas? Definitely, this is uh, one of the most uh, amazing um, step that uh, the president uh, put this uh, plan and uh, has been uh, established with this kind of housing. And uh, to make the city, it's more, more likely is uh, like a capital city. For example, uh, uh, Cairo or uh, El Somalia itself. But El Arish, it has a different culture. So when we put this kind of uh, um, housing and uh, accommodate all the people instead of going around the, uh, the area, it uh, gives them the, all the kind of service they need from, mm -hmm. you know, uh, water, mm -hmm. gas, uh, station, uh, roads, uh, health. It's, uh, it's there right now and available. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, within the project and the framework of uh, digital Egypt, mm -hmm. <clears throat> how far has Sinai uh, been automated and uh, supplied with uh, automated services so far? One of the, the, the main things that's it's already there, uh, a technology mm -hmm. university. 
uh, computer science for the uh, uh, as an education uh, sector mm -hmm. for the uh, kind of automated or the to be one of part of the uh, uh, technology to be combined with the, all the service here in Egypt in Cairo for example is still a step behind because according to the infrastructure there and uh, the kind of uh, projects they are let's say is slower than the uh, uh, Cairo but it's there and it's going to be um, in very soon or a short time to be on the uh, technology or the, on the map of the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, how far will the implementation of investment projects as well as enhancing, uh, of course, I investment opportunities in Sinai uh, will further develop the area? You know, uh, it, the businessman or the or let's say the companies it's, uh, it's not only one uh, um, um, a man or uh, a person that he will decide of course there is a lot of companies interested in the area and uh, it should be the government decided uh, which is the best for the area it's, we, we cannot say we are opening uh, this widely so we are not uh, controlling what kind of service or what kind of uh, um, uh, service that we are going to give this area in, because of the uh, importance of the, uh, the location of the area. Mm. So there is a lot of uh, uh, offering, uh, let's say uh, proposal, uh, but it's still in under studies left. Mm -hmm. uh, to what extent, uh, in your opinion, will the development of Sinai reflect on the development of the lives of its citizens? Okay, uh, it's, uh, instead of um, going to be uh, like saying that we are... Uh, far or, or not known for example that we are having a, a, a tv channel for them mm -hmm. it's already there so we need to be more communicated to be um, knowledge mm -hmm. of their lives for mm -hmm. the uh, daily life mm -hmm. so you you know when you are saying cairo you will first thing in your uh, mind what will come it's the nile or the giza mm -hmm. uh, the nile uh, mm -hmm. the the hotels the uh, kind of all the kind of uh, cafe and uh, restaurant all the light lives in, uh, at night we need to put ararish as well or the sinai as well to be once and you are saying this Ah, we have an imagination of the area. Mm -hmm. This is what we are going to do in, uh, with a lot of uh, attention, of course, from the presidency and uh, the ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, how far uh, can we further develop uh, communication between Sinai and the other parts of Egypt? One of them, and the most of them, the roads. So mm -hmm. that's why uh, the government, uh, the president, uh, have a lot of... Uh, uh, in the. Uh, in the roads so once you are going to, to go for somewhere first thing that you are going to in your mind where and what mm -hmm. and that's where okay I got it but how how I'm going there so we need a uh, 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 road and to be fast and clean and nice uh, we have a, a lot of service in the roads as well and most of that as well with the roads and the, and the, the service that we are going to give them during the uh, the vacation or during the, the trip that you are going to there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do you view the economic future of Sinai? Uh, it's, had, uh, it's a very potential uh, area and uh, with in, um, I like to see uh, Al Arish and Sinai very soon with a lot of uh, potential uh, to be uh, invested and to give all the most of that because it's still up till now it's a pure land mm -hmm. and uh, it needs a lot of attention uh, in the future and this is the plan for the government mm -hmm. uh, how far do you uh, see the difference on the people and the citizens themselves uh, the, they are right now we are if you are talking on, be on behalf of them uh, you already know uh, the the culture there they are already uh, um, accommodate with the kind of uh, service that has been uh, provided uh, to them uh, appreciation that uh, uh, this area it has been uh, um, acknowledged for a long time or neglected for a long time and right now it has been acknowledged and make the the efforts for them appreciated and they are very willing mm. to give the all the uh, help and service that they like uh, the area great well uh, Dr. just allow well. me to go to this report uh, 750 billion pounds on uh, development projects in Sinai let's check out this report
Since 2014, Egypt has moved on the right path towards developing the Sinai Peninsula. And during the past years, it has completed hundreds of reconstruction and development projects. The government has paid keen attention to the development of Sinai, and this is clearly evident through the government's investments and government allocation in the annual economic and social development plan. In order to implement projects in the fields of drinking water, sanitation, agriculture, irrigation, education, as well as transportation, amongst others. The dream of the reconstruction of Sinai has become a tangible reality after carrying out a series of national projects, including housing projects, seawater desalination plants, establishment of agricultural clusters, drilling wells, and the implementation of a comprehensive development plan. The agricultural area increased by about 500,000 acres in the Salem Canal and its surroundings, while the agricultural area Egypt lost after 2011 was restored through reclaiming new lands. Regarding the economic development plan for Sinai, Egypt has spent more than 750 billion pounds on development projects over the last 10 years. And the total government investment plan for 2024 for the development of North Sinai government amounts to 6.5 billion Egyptian pounds. Other services sector accounts for the largest percentage of the total government investments directed to North Sinai governorate, about 55%, followed by the construction sector with a percentage of 10.5%. Regarding total investments directed to South Sinai, it amounts to 5.1 billion pounds, of which the public treasury finances about 47%. A report from the Ministry of Planning and Economic Development indicates the most important development programs intended to be implemented in North Sinai during the year are in the fields of agriculture and land reclamation, completing the establishment of 13 agricultural clusters in the governorate. In the field of sanitation, the plan aims to implement a project to provide needs to cope with rain and extend sanitation services to the governorate's areas. Also, the state has replaced and renovated existing areas in North Sinai, in addition to establishing youth centers in the governorate, developing youth facilities, and completed an upgrading of the efficiency and development of El Arish roads. Welcome back, dear viewers. We're still uh, talking about development of Sinai, and uh, uh, we were talking about development of tourism. And especially uh, the area of El Arish. How okay. can we further promote tourism in El Arish? So uh, El Arish, it's uh, uh, the main city, and uh, um, and the coast. Uh, it's uh, on the coast. Of course, it uh, uh, has a lot of uh, right now. We have uh, like five, six. Uh, uh, I don't want to count, but. Uh, hotels or accommodation for tourists mm -hmm. and this is not uh, very well uh, uh, and it's not that uh, that means it's not uh, it's still a <laughs> tourist destination so we when we would like to promote a, a, a tourism destination we need to have an airline we have we need a transportation uh, with the car or buses or train that it would be easily to move because you know uh, uh, Al Arish is uh, has a, um, a long distance between uh, Alexandria for example uh, from uh, Cairo so if we are going to give the the tourist uh, a visit for pyramids uh, Cairo three nights so we need to have mo uh, more uh, flexible or faster uh, um, transportation to go there as well like Alexandria to <coughs> go there and to, ha to spend for example one or two days so mm -hmm. Al-Arish as well uh, to be there uh, Al-Alamein uh, right now we are promoting Al-Alamein so we are going to have a promotion uh, or advertising uh, or a campaign that what we did in Al-Alamein we, we are going to give this kind of uh, promotion for Al-Arish it as a, a tourist uh, destination. Mm -hmm. uh, talking more about tourism, since you were also uh, working uh, in the field of tourism. Right, before. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what would you like to tell us about promoting tourism in the area of Sinai abroad? What are the best ways of uh, promoting uh, this area in uh, Europe, for example, in uh, the United States, in other countries outside Egypt? Right now, in, in, in my days, it was like the public relation, the uh, 
kind of trips or but right now social media mm -hmm. social media has a huge impact uh, for example especially for the young people they are so they are uh, uh, attracted to what they are seeing so social media is very important we can invite a lot of celebrity to go there and to ha take a, a, a tour uh, to make a short movies uh, to post uh, more information about uh, El Arish and of course with the, the, the back of the bone of uh, giving all kind of investment and develop for accommodation or transportation for this area. Mm -hmm. This is one of the main points right now is a, like a first step, an easy one and uh, it's uh, uh, with a huge impact. As you see, uh, a lot of people coming, for example, come to Egypt. Mm -hmm. So uh, this kind of trend it's coming to come to Egypt so when they are coming to Egypt uh, we need to say we come to Arish as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. indeed uh, talking more about uh, again about women empowerment in Sinai uh, how do you think uh, uh, NGOs can help in this field <laughs> the, the uh, empowering women there it's a, a little bit challenging uh, according to the culture as well as you know mm -hmm. and uh, uh, with the area as, itself as well it's not that um, if you see al arish uh, it's a city a nice city and uh, uh, but still it's need more it's mm -hmm. uh, wants to be um, uh, give the the woman the uh, freedom to make such uh, uh, changing in their life and in their community. Mm -hmm. They are already there and they are doing this change. Mm -hmm. But still, it's a limitation of the area. As I said, we need more development, we need more investment, mm -hmm. so we give more uh, uh, imagination for the people there. Because once you are living there mm -hmm. and you need something, you will invent, you will try to think how we are going to solution for this kind of problem, for example. Mm. So this is what we are go would like to uh, give the opportunity for the women to make th their self on the map as well as uh, um, investors even uh, mm -hmm. in, er in their area. Mm -hmm. But still uh, uh, not yet uh, uh, well done. Mm -hmm. uh, how can we uh, convince <coughs> investors to start injecting uh, money in uh, this area, in the area of Sinai, in the area of uh, El Harish, uh, Sharm el Sheikh? How can we uh, convince the more, them? More, more uh, attractive uh, uh, um, terms uh, to give more freedom uh, free of uh, taxes. Uh, to give the kind of uh, service that we are as a government, Egyptian government, and we will give them all the support, all kind of uh, uh, um, the infrastructure for the area, because they are not going to give us uh, the infrastructure. We need to give them the infrastructure. But we, uh, the, uh, when one, the, the government get, did this to Al Alamein and uh, the new capital as well, that's what happened. Everybody mm -hmm. right now, we are buying or mm -hmm. selling the, the area very easily mm -hmm. because the, uh, the government has been invested with the uh, infrastructure first and then going from there and uh, make the, uh, the promotion. Mm -hmm. uh, how far uh, is the development plan of Sinai working on uh, linking uh, the peninsula or Sinai to the Nile Delta? Uh, this is a huge project. Uh, 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 it's uh, uh, um, already in, in, in a process, and, and this is give the life for the, the Sinai and the agriculture. And it's been the like the what we are saying, the basket food for uh, Egypt. Uh, if we are going to give them all the uh, uh, their needs for the agriculture uh, or the land, uh, whatever is uh, uh, needed. So this is the, like a delta. It's uh, right now Delta uh, you know, is very known uh, as ag agriculture or the food chain from there. Mm -hmm. And Sinai, it will be very soon in, uh, to be in their uh, area as well. Mm -hmm. uh, um, how far does the basic services uh, reach the people of Sinai? It's already right now, uh, as we say, uh, we have uh, watched uh, the um, reportage about the, uh, the things that it has been uh, developed and uh, to be handled uh, through the, uh, the government very well uh, and with a lot of millions as we've seen in the uh, movie or the, uh, the reportage. Uh, it has uh, um, a lot of uh, uh, um, 
equality as well. It's not part of uh, or far from their agriculture. For example, you see a, a separate house with a small uh, area. Um, it's not like uh, all of them. It's buildings uh, like uh, Cairo because they like to uh, be in... Um, if you have small houses yeah, with, uh, with an, a garden, a garden or, or whatever it is they would like to do. Yes, right. Mm. So this kind of uh, uh, knowing the, uh, the needs of their people, this is very well done uh, by the government. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the most prominent industrial, agricultural and uh, trade projects taking place over there? Um, uh, as we have seen, uh, the agriculture, of course, so we have, uh, I think, a uh, uh, man manufacturer for uh, cement, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know how far is uh, still working or they are uh, developed for. Or in terms of uh, what our expectations are of the Israelis or the advice that we will give them. So will he be speaking to Prime Minister Netanyahu today? I don't have anything to announce from this podium, but I can tell you that he is tracking this minute by minute. We are very much deeply in touch with the Israelis and insofar as we have calls to read out, we'll make sure to read them out with you. Just last question, then I'll turn it over. Thank you, Jake. In April, after Iran struck Israel, uh, the is U.S. issued a number of sanctions um, as a consequence. This morning, the President said there would be severe consequences if Iran carried out this attack. What are those consequences and are they more severe than sanctions? Totally legitimate question. Yeah. The answer will come based on the conversations and consultations we have with our Israeli counterparts. It's too soon for me to stand before you today and give you an answer. What I can tell you is this. Uh, we are proud of the actions that we've taken alongside Israel to, to protect and defend Israel. We have made clear that there will be consequences, severe consequences for this attack, and we will work with Israel to make that the case. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. the reportage so that's a, a kind of uh, uh, promising this area has been changed from 2014 to 24 it was uh, like a miracle to uh, to do this kind of things in 10 years with this a lot of and uh, the of course the the, the land and the uh, the main land, it's not uh, like uh, normal. It's a lot of sand, a lot of desert. It's not very, very well, uh, um, I how to say it? I don't know. I bet, but I mean, there is a lot of change that mm -hmm. we can uh, transform uh, this area. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 it's very well done uh, for, from the government as mm -hmm. well. What are the main challenges facing the area of Sinai and the citizens living there? Um, of course, yani, I mean, el, the main things that we are talking, like daily life, uh, the, that, the food chain, uh, the, uh, the, but right now it's more uh, efficiency. Uh, the water, the, nor, uh, the, uh, the water to be uh, devel delivered for all uh, housing or the area, mm -hmm. it's right now more uh, achieved uh, in, the, uh, in these days mm -hmm. uh, or the ten, day, uh, ten years uh, ago. So um, a lot of f uh, uh, service has been uh, developed from the health care or the education, school, uh, roads, uh, uh, all kind of uh, daily life using for the people has been uh, developed. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we are to uh, prioritize the projects to work on in the area of Sinai, what would you uh, put on top of these projects? Definitely, if we are going to talk about uh, inside uh, Egypt, as a Egypt, as a Cairo, uh, not Cairo, as a Egypt, as a country, we, are, we would like to have agriculture in there. If we are talking about uh, globally, we need to have a, a tourism uh, or to be a tourism uh, destination. Mm -hmm. So it has two wings, agriculture and tourism will be one of the most known uh, city in the world. Mm -hmm. And I hope uh, we will see it soon. Indeed. Uh, Dr. Hanel Kilani, Professor of Engineering and Information Technology, thank you very much for You're joining welcome. us. Thank you. And many thanks. Besides, uh, dear viewers, that brings us to the end of this edition of the Daily Debate. Many thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coming up here on Mal TV International.